now we have calculated the super elevation that is around 7.17 percent for this data the next thing we'll have to find two distances the length of the super elevation runoff and the tangent runoff uh, actually the tangent runoff or the ground runoff as as we have seen in uh, as we have seen here is dependent upon the length of the super run super elevation runoff now what we do how we'll calculate ls is you know you have a green book and we have a green book actually and from that we'll use this table 3-19 and for 90 kilometers per hour we find this is length spiral length is 50 meter so i will put this value here this is the length is 50 meter that is from table uh, i need to calculate length of the tangent runoff. Now this is from this formula. E of normal ground, that is 2%, divided by the ED, this is design super elevation, this is 7%, and this LS represents 50. So that's how I get 13.94 meter. To move ahead, we also know what is two third of LS, and that is where we'll have the length required from changing from uh, zero percent to plus two percent, and then from plus two percent to the required super elevation that is seven point one seven percent, and obviously this tangent length again or tangent runout is the length required from going from minus. 2% to 0%. So, this is how we calculate all these values. All we need to now, we'll have this table and gradually we'll start. Now, at the start point, the first point is the point where we start from a normal crown that is minus 2% on both the side and we assume this distance zero. Actually, this distance is 64, 50 meter beyond our required point of commencement of the curve. That was LS. So we can say uh, we whatever value we have double to nine, whatever the start of the curve will go 50 meter beyond, and then that is what we call the start of the tangent runoff. Let's let's see what I'm saying is this distance. This distance beyond this distance, the start of the curve is simply the uh, the this distance is 50 meter beyond that point. Obviously, accordingly. We have subtracted double to nine zero point five fifty meter. We'll have this station. At this station, we have outer lane minus two percent plus the inner lane minus two percent. And obviously, if I multiply minus two percent with my width lane width, you can see my lane width is three point. 65 meter i will get the value of point that's how i have shown minus uh, that's point zero seven meter obviously they both are same so there is the outer edge so minus point zero seven and minus point zero seven if i draw it on the chart you can find this this red one is my outer edge that is being raised gradually and the blue one is my inner edge. That is, obviously, they are both starting at together. And this is start of TR. And you know this station as well. 
So this is the value of minus 0 0.07 that I have drawn. Next, I will go to the next point that is the end of TR that is around 14 meter. Actually, I've calculated 13.94, but for the sake of this calculation, I make it 14 uh, just to make life simple for me, myself, and for you as well. So then my station obviously will be double two four zero. And here, outer lane, I've said that at the end of the crown, that is at the end of the tangent runout, that is, at this point, I will raise this edge to 0%. And that's why this is 0. And obviously, we have not changed the second uh, uh, second elevation that will remain minus 2%. And obviously, if I multiply, say, 3.65 to 0, then I will get 0. And this is one second one. Now, I will move on and I will draw it. This point is I have raised the outer edge to 0% and this is my end of TR and I have not done anything with the, the inner edge. I move on further as uh, at 2 third of SR. So now this 2 third of SR is simply 36 I have added. I, have, I am now at the start of point of commencement of the curve at this value and this obviously I will have a change to minus 2%, 2 percent, 2 plus 2 percent, and this will 0 0.07 and minus 0 0.07. This I have drawn like this at this point, at the time start of this point. And last but not least, I have a full super elevated curve uh, at 64 meter. I have had that 14 meter as well. This will be the you know, one third inside the start of the curve. And this value become, I will have full super elevated curve. The 7.18 minus 7.18. And if I calculate it, you know, with respect to the width, it will become 0.26 meter and 0 0.26 meter. And I've drawn this point. Now, practically what is happening is that we'll have a mirror image on the other side before this all will be have a mirror image on the other side as well before the end of the curve. So this is uh, what I have to explain and I hope you have understood. And if you have any problem, please, uh, please contact me at my email address or if you are my student, contact me in the class. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your kind uh, support and uh, thank you very much.